welcome to 9th of December's Quality Pressing. We have to focus majorly on our quality of our thoughts and that's what we're going to learn over here in Supreme Godfather's Blessing. Godfather says whether it's your thoughts, words or actions, whether it's your relationships or connections, for any kind of reason, if you've got any negative thought, immediately your level of purity drops down. You become unstable, you feel negative and you feel as if your present moment is not in your hands. And that's the only way to be living in the present, to be happier, to be blessed right now. So let's go ahead, let's understand the blessing today. Our Father says, May you be a supremely worthy of worship soul, who has the inculcation of purity in your thoughts, words, actions, relationships and connections. So purity is not just celibacy. And that's the highest form of purity which God is talking about other than celibacy. So purity is not just celibacy, but it is not able to have any negative thoughts for anyone in your mind. That is what celibacy or brahmacharya means, which means following the acharan or following the footsteps of Brahma. Father Brahma, his purity, his level of purity of thoughts, words and actions because of which the beautiful world of golden age is created where not even a single thought can be negative. That's the level of purity which God is talking about and that's what he expects from us and that's what he guides us on a daily basis in Brahma Kumaris 4. So God then says, do not speak any such words but have good relationships and connections with everyone. Do not let your purity be broken in any of those things. That means your thoughts, your words, your actions, your relations with people and your connections with people. For any reason, whether it's a loss which you incur, whether somebody talks ill about you, whether somebody doesn't let you move ahead in life, financially, mentally, emotionally, physically, relationship-wise. But if you have any negative thoughts, that means your karmic chakra is still going on. And the number of karmic chakras you increase and you don't let go of them, that's the amount of heaviness or that's the amount of negativity which you'll be carrying in your mind. It's vice versa. So God then says, do not let your purity be broken in any of these things. And you would then be said to be worthy of worship. That means you'll become mandir-like or you'll become temple-like form of a divine human being who has got very pure divine thoughts towards everybody. Actually, if you can take out blessings towards the people who have done ill to you or rather why just to those people who have given ill thoughts towards you or have done ill to you for the whole world if you can take out blessings while moving on your pathway if you see somebody who's physically hurt if you have blessings towards that person somebody is ill blessings towards that person somebody is not financially okay giving blessings to that person and if you are a walking talking blessing giver that's how you can actually reach the stage of complete purity or positivity, no matter what happens around you. Then God says, so check your foundation of purity. Remain constantly aware of being a supremely worthy of worship soul present in that temple. No waste thoughts can enter a temple. You say we clean the temple, we clean the mosque, we clean the church but to be clean our mind we say that church is the presence is the place where this presence of god mosque is the place where this presence of allah what about our mind uh, is the mind a place for the presence of god or allah or jehovah we have to call ourselves and check ourselves on all these bases is the mind pure enough to even be capable to attract god's love and that's what we learn in Brahma Kumari is how to make it purified so much so that God thinks about placing his valuable jewels of knowledge into our intellect. With this, Om Shanti.